Hello, my name is Jay, and welcome back to my tech vault. And today we're going to talk about mothership rumors and about how long of a day it's been for me, and I'm still recording videos. No, we're going to talk about motherboard chipsets. Um, so a lot of rumors have been speculating around that we've got a confirmation of these chipsets, which is kind of expected since we have a next generation of motherboards and processors on the horizon from AMD. I would really be willing to say that we're probably going to get motherboards with that as well. So don't worry, that's A, some of the rumors specifically retaining to these new motherboards, how feasible I think they are, why I don't think they make sense, some of them, and why I, my personal preferences and things on like these rumors and why I don't think they're necessarily right. Um, so next up, let's also talk about a couple other things. First off, I can take a guess at what I really can expect to see in these new motherboards. Uh, I would say this is very, very highly likely, um, almost guaranteed at the point that there's, I definitely would say these things would be on the motherboards. Um, and then, of course, we've got stuff that I would just say is out there. And I'll make sure I split that up so you understand what I'm talking about. So, first off, our first rumor today is that we have PCIe Gen 4 support on these motherboards. Now, if you're unfamiliar, basically currently Gen 3 has uh, 8 GTs per second. Uh, and then, of course, the next upgrade to that is the Gen 4, which is 16 GT per second, which is gigatransfers per second. And so basically, um, it's like, if you think of it like memory um, bandwidth. And so that when you have like a graphics card or something in that slot, it's pretty much like how much um, throughput you can put, like how much data can be passed, uh, how much can be like rendered or passed between the processor and the graphics card to be outputted, things like that. So what that really means is that some graphics cards will actually use um, a majority of it or not. And of course, depending on how much um, bandwidth they have, it depends on how well the graphics cards run. Well, interesting enough, these this upgrade would allow for something that isn't would allow for a lot more bandwidth but not really be used because currently at the moment these graphics cards don't have a lot of support uh, or don't actually use up most of that bandwidth so what they do is of course they're not going to reach that if they even double it again it won't even come close now i would find this funny um and also raises a couple questions first off number one so if they were not close i mean we're relatively speaking, if we're not close to maxing this out yet um, uh, with current graphics cards um, and it's not necessarily directly on the horizon for it to be a new, any with anything we have on the market and anything and the direction we're going, I guess, it's not, on the likely, it's not likely that we will reach that anytime soon, then why are they starting now? And I understand they're trying to like have back support so if someone gets a new, like an old, the old, the same current, well, the current generation's motherboard and in the future they want to upgrade, uh, put a new graphics card in there, um, and it has does use that bandwidth, and I guess that's what they're trying to do. Um, I just don't necessarily think that it's that likely to happen in the future, I guess. Like, it's, we're kind of a bit away from that. Um, let's also talk about, no, there's not going to be any DDR5 memory support, and I apologize if I say G, um, because I was talking about graphics cards uh, last night, so here I am talking about the, the RAM supported on these motherboards. So first off, there's not going to be any. Why? Well, first off, in order to upgrade and get the new RAM, you're going to need to, since AMD has already said they're not changing the socket until 2020, that means that all the past generations that don't support the DDR, DDR5 will not be able to go in those motherboards, which kind of nullifies that whole thing that they've statement they've said. So I would be willing to say that we're going to continue on that. Now, as I said, if you're interested in the DDR5, I've made videos talking about it and why 2020 is really going to be an interesting year. Um, so let's also talk about some of these names of these chipsets. So first off, as we can assume, X570B550, and I'm thinking maybe an A chipset, but we'll talk about those. So first off, what are they going to change? We can definitely expect better memory controllers. Um, we can expect some unique features since first gen had nothing, second gen had of the chipsets I'm referring to. Uh, second gen had AMD Storm I. And then third gen, I would expect some other cool selling point that they'd have to come out with to kind of entice people to buy. I don't know. I, I would think they'd maybe continue that trend as well. As for overclocking, I definitely think better VRMs. Um, and I'll also go through and I'll list what I think the order of how good or uh, the overclocking level um, or how easy it is or how good overclocking is on these chipsets. So at the bottom, of course, we have the A330, um, I believe, uh, chipset. And then we have the 
B350 chipset, and then I'd say we have the B450 chipset, and which is just slightly below the X370 chipset, and then we have the X470 chipset. Where I think the um, B or the B550 chipset would fall is right in between the X370 and the B or the X370 and the X470 chipsets. I would think that would be right where it would fall. And then, of course, an upgrade would, of course, be the top, which is the 570, X570 chipset, which is going to, of course, be on the top since this is the newest. Um, also, I don't necessarily think that they're going to, if they decide to do the PCIe lanes and do the PCIe Gen 4, I don't think they're going to do the, the um, bottom, if they do a bottom tier, um, which I'll talk about in a second. If they do the bottom tier, I don't think they'd bring support maybe to the B chipsets, but only to the highest end X chipsets to support people or another enticing reason for people to buy. Let's also talk about the A530 chipset. Now it's been a bit, and of course memory controllers and things have gotten a lot better over the last couple of years, especially on the motherboards. So, and of course they've also had a little bit more support for higher clock speeds directly um, from the processor and the motherboard. So I think that we could definitely get some support without having to do technically overclocking on the, the motherboard or the CPU. I think we could, um, obviously that depends on what AMD does with their processors, but a little bit more support on overclocking from the motherboards themselves, I think is definitely something we could see. And I think that, especially with process, these processors, newer processors re relying on more and more of the RAM and how fast it's running, I definitely could see in the future um, that this they'd have to bring out another chipset like the A530, so that way there's something um, relatively recent to be with AMD Store My, all the kind of some of the bells and whistles without having to upgrade your BIOS um, and do all the other extra things you have to do just to get an A330 chipset, you would kind of have an easier stepping stone uh, there. And then, as it's come to the, some of the other standard stuff as I've already talked about is the fact that we've got support from the past generations, which is automatically assumed since statement from to, up until 2020, we're gonna have support on the AM4 socket. So we've kind of got that long list of um, chipsets that will be coming uh, in the future that we can really see um, where this falls and stuff. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. Um, I think this is the fifth time I've recorded this video, so I'm a little tired and it's one in the morning. So um, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's video and check my channel for other cool tech-related news videos and reviews. Goodbye.